Hello, this is Reza from Redacad, and in this video, I'm going to talk about how to make your gauge visual in Power BI uh, to have sentiment, how to change it to have sentiment colors, to be red, to be uh, yellow or green, depends on which range the value is in. Let's see how it works. Um, as you can see uh, here, I have a gauge visual. Gauge visual is this visual in Power BI, which gives you the ability to um, to show a value and see if that value meets a target. Is it close to your goal or not? You can either set up these values here, the goal minimum, maximum, I mean, uh, target minimum, maximum, or you can, uh, if you have it in your data fields, or you can go to the format, under the gauge axis, you can set that manually yourself, right? Uh, and you can set the data colors here to be a different color. Now, the problem is that this doesn't give you the option to say uh, if the value is, uh, let's say, for example, 3 million, it's not in the range, makes it red. If it is 5 million in the yellow uh, zone, if it is, let's say, 9 million in the you know, green zone, it doesn't give you those sentiment colors. However, uh, it gives you the ability to do conditional formatting, like many other visuals in Power BI, you can do conditional formatting. To do conditional formatting, you just need to hover with your mouse under on, in this data color section. And you see when I hover on it, there's uh, I see this little three dots, um, which I can click on it, and then it comes to the conditional formatting. Conditional formatting uh, here is quite simple. You can change it to uh, from color scale to rules. Even with color scale, you can configure it, uh, but rules makes it really easier for uh, sentiment uh, configuration. For example, I can say if it is greater than uh, zero and less than, let's say, four million, makes it red. Uh, if it is more than Four million, but less than seven million, make it uh, yellow. And if it is more than seven million, but less than ten million, I think that's a million. Ten million, uh, then makes it green, right? So really simple. Uh, I just add these, and uh, you are not limited to three. You can add as many as you want. Uh, I can click on OK, and you see this becomes red because this is um, because this is uh, in the red zone. Now, if I have a, a copy of this for, um, let's say, which has a different value and configure this for that, I'll see what is the difference. Now, let me show you how this works. So here I have uh, these for different years and you see their values are different. So I want to show you that this conditional formatting works with that. So let's do format and paste it here. Oh, sorry, wrong button. Uh, you can actually use this format painter to even for, uh, copy the conditional formatting. So you see that uh, I just do it like that and it applies the conditional formatting, really useful option. So here you can see um, uh, easy, it works like that. So it is this one in, is in the rain, uh, red zone, this is in the yellow. It met the target, but it's still in yellow zone. And these are green, very simple. Uh, now, this is not just about fill color. In the format, there is also an option that you can format the call out value. And the call out value is this value, is this big one in the middle. You can uh, format that too, right? The color of that also is something you can do uh, as a conditional formatting, and you can then go to the rules and add the same set of rules. However, uh, whenever it comes to uh, replicating your logic, I always try to use a method that is uh, really easy to maintain. Uh, of course, you can uh, build that logic again here. But then the problem is that later on, if you decided, okay, probably not more than 4 million, I want to make it more than 3 million to become uh, the second range and things like that, then you have to go here and some other places to change it. Uh, I usually prefer using a DAX measure for doing something like that. Uh, here you can see I created a measure in DAX 
and this measure has this expression in it. It's not a really complex expression. Uh, it uses the switch statement. If you are interested to see how switch works, check out my other video about that. Uh, and I put through here to check the logic here. So if the value is more than 7 million, make it green. These are color values that I'm returning. If it is more than 4 million, return orange, otherwise return red, right? Really simple statement. Uh, the good thing about writing a DAX expression is that then you can even write complex expression, like this is bigger than that, that is bigger than this, put if statement, put calculate, uh, er anything you want. That That's a good thing about writing it in DAX. And another good thing about that is that whenever I want to change the ranges, I just come here and change the ranges. Now, if I want to do something like this using uh, that DAX statement, I can do it this way. I just uh, duplicate the page just to show you how it works. Now, instead of uh, conditional formatting that way, I do it different. Still, I go to data colors under the fill under conditional formatting, but this time I don't do it using rules. I change it to field value. And the field that I'm using here is gauge color, the measure that I've created. So it is saying that whatever that value is, that is the value you should be using for the conditional formatting, and that is why that value should return colors. So here you can see it is working, and I can use this also for the call out value. That's a good thing about this because you have one logic one place defined and you just use it here in all places that you need. So I just define it here too. And you see this call out value also changed. And again, that format painter, which is really cool value, cool option, I'm going to use it for all of these. And you see all of these now changed, not just their uh, range colors, their fill colors, but also their call out color all changed using this DAX statement. That's why I usually prefer to have DAX statement because now if I go and change, let's say the mid one from orange to another color, you see that change apply really fast. So that's how uh, good is to define these under um, DAX as a conditional formatting. Here you go, so you have the gauge with the uh, sentiment colors now. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos of Power BI and AI. Thank you.